All right, I'm going to do a little shoot and review today of this Plus 9 Mag Extension by Galloway for the Taurus TX-22. So this takes you from a standard 16 round capacity here. Plus 9 brings you up to 25 round capacity. Now if you want to check out any of the other stuff I got mounted up on the TX-22 here, uh, this red dot optic. I will actually have a review video coming up on that very shortly, but it will go in the same playlist as all this other stuff's already in. I got a comp uh, slide on here, uh, target barrel, this flashlight, obviously, stainless guide rod and spring. So for all that and more, check out the parts, accessories, and optics playlist on the channel, and then we'll have a review coming up very shortly on this Sealy Cat Pro Red Dot, which is what we'll be using today. Well, I'll go ahead and get her loaded up here. I guess give you a better look at it while I'm at it so you just kind of slide your uh, factory mag in there after you take the bottom plate off and then they provide their bottom plate and screws and all that all the hardware you need uh, you need a little allen wrench you can also buy that with it for an extra couple bucks I think if you don't have that tiny allen wrench there um, but it's 3d printed and it's real real light i don't even know if it even weighs an entire ounce i mean it might but it this is very light very strong very firm um, but very light material here so it does not add much weight just a little bit one thing i'll mention right off the bat uh, there's a little bottom follower in the factory mag do not put that in the new one i was stupid enough to do that and that will cause you all kinds of problems now for some reason i was having an issue where only on the last round precisely every single time for some reason my gun would lock back and it was engaging the slide lock I'd pull it back and then it would change to the last round and bang it would go off and that was it it was fine for some reason it didn't matter whether I loaded it all the way up 25 rounds which by the way I had no problem doing that every single time um, 25 20 15 10 5 it didn't matter for some reason it kept locking back on me with the last round left in the magazine. It was somehow activating um, the slide lock. I contacted Galloway about this. Um, he said there's no way, you know, their thing should be causing that. Just like, you know, if you think about the way it works, and my thoughts exactly were the same as his, I don't understand how this is happening. Uh, the gap is exactly the same with their mag extension as with the factory mags, so... It, as far as I can tell, within a fraction of a millimeter at least, it's seating to the exact same depth. You know, there's no extra parts. You just remove the base of the factory mag and that bottom follower, and then you put on their extension there. Seats to the same depth and everything. Um, so I returned the pistol back to factory because, as you heard me say there in the beginning, I was running a bunch of different parts on it. Slide, barrel, uh, rod and spring, everything. Had the optic on top there. So I uh, returned it back to complete factory spec, swapped everything back over to the factory slide, factory barrel, factory spring, and took the optic off of it. Um, that way it was completely factory stock gun to give it uh, the best chance of working properly because I didn't know if there was any of those parts causing that issue. And then the results are as follows, but continue to stay tuned. I do have a theory to what I believe is actually causing it. Showing here that the factory mag does not lock open with one round left. The gun is empty and is not holding on to the one last round like the extension was. Then lo and behold, um, this is actually footage from the optic review video. Um, it started working for me.
Then for anyone interested in how difficult this may be to load, which it's not very difficult at all, um, it does start to get a little bit stiff around 20 rounds, and of course the last one's the hardest, but I still find it pretty easy. So as I said, those last two clips there were actually from this optic review video, which you're kind of getting a sneak peek of right here just because I need B-roll footage uh, for this voiceover. And I put another mag or two through it as well without any issues. So I think that aligns with what I'm going to tell you my theory is, which my theory began uh, even before this optics video. <clears throat> um, and that is basically, well, my gun is pretty well used and it's seen a lot of abuse and even some catastrophic failures way 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 back when when I first got it I had a squib around got stuck I didn't notice and the gun kind of blew up <laughs> um, Tor sent me a new barrel <clears throat> it shot the mag out the bottom of the mag well when it happened and it ruined the factory barrel but other than that the pistol seemed like it was good to go um, I actually had my factory slide break at the nose Taurus replaced that uh, the guns had tons of rounds through it. I'm well past 5,000 rounds, probably coming up on 10,000 rounds total count. A lot of high and hyper velocity ammunition, um, velocitors, interceptors, stingers, super maximum, hundreds of rounds of those easily. Um, so it's got a lot of miles on it, and also notice that there's actually a crack in the frame as well. Uh, so basically my conclusion is that with all the wear and tear that mine has on it that some of the tolerances are a little loose and that combined with the new spring that they provide um, with their mag extension which is obviously going to be stiffer, stronger because it's a new spring uh, that's the only thing I can think is that somehow with those tolerances from the wear and tear and the stiffer spring um, that it's moving the follower and the mag just a fraction of a millimeter and causing it to just barely catch uh, on the mag release. Uh, that's what I'm coming up with. And with those last few mags not locking open on the last shot, um, it seems to align with that as well as that spring is getting broken in. So, so that's what I'm going with. Um, I do believe that's an accurate conclusion. Um, dude at Galloway said, you know, he's not heard any complaints about that. I believe him. Like I said, mine's been through the ringer. Not just with high round count as others out there have, but um, just the failures and breakages that it's experienced as well. And it's not the factory that left the factory with. They are factory tourist parts, but they're not original to the gun because of what happened. I mean, for the 20 bucks or whatever that they want for this, I'd say it's definitely worth the shot. And I honestly believe him anyways that they've not had this issue. I really just think it's because mine is really beat up. Like I said, I think there's some tolerance issues going on in there with that new spring in there it's just barely somehow allowing that uh, to catch and, I, and like I said it started working towards the end there after I had some rounds through it so I really do believe that's what's going on there's some tolerance issues with mine being beat the crap and that new spring where it's just barely allowing it to catch the mag release somehow um, but it was super fun having 25 rounds to run at once without having to reload I couldn't imagine having a few mags with these extensions on there you uh, four mags and you would have a hundred rounds ready to go and as you saw there other than that hiccup that I do fully believe is the fault of my own gun um, we had flawless operation so seems to run very reliably as well just not sure why I kept experiencing that last round hold open other than the reasons that I explained um, if you're watching this video weeks months or even years from now feel free to ask me for a follow-up uh, you know, whether it, it's been 100% flawless ever since or whatever, like I believe it will be because of, of that spring breaking in. Well, this gun gets shot a lot more than any other gun I have, so within a few months I'll have a few more rounds down the pipe for sure. And uh, I can certainly give an update if you just leave me a comment down in the comment section.
But I'm going to cut it there, guys. I uh, highly recommend it, and I do believe you're going to have flawless operation as long, as long as you don't have anything wrong with your pistol, like what I've experienced over the past few years, all the different problems I've had with mine. And like I said, I even got a crack in the frame there. So um, definitely can't br blame Galloway's product there. I 100% believe it's my pistol causing it. And thanks for watching, guys. Check out the 22 slash Rimfire on the playlist for everything Rimfire. Check out the parts, accessories, and optics playlist uh, for everything, all these goodies you see attached on here. Not only this gun, but all the products I've been testing lately, scopes, red dots, flashlights, and whatnot. And links in the description for the products you see me use in my videos, like the earmuffs, safety glasses, shooting bags, steel targets, and more. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.